Well, today our ta our trainer is Mr. Christian Sadler. This is uh, the man that's at the helm of our team, Elevate. He is a man that makes a difference wherever he goes. He's a doer. He's he's creating value to the point that sometimes he has him, he has actually had six figure paydays from the projects that he has organized and put together. He is super organized and he always has a smile and we're happy to welcome him and hear learn from him today. Christian, how are you, sir? Ron, I am amazing. How are you? Fantastic. Glad you're here. Good, good. Well, I'm going to assume you guys can hear me okay, so I appreciate you, Ron, and everything that you do. Appreciate you being here on each and every morning just to uh, welcome everybody and make sure that we have the right music to get us moving and the right message to, uh, you know, to, to, to keep us in the right mindset. And I'm just I'm grateful for, for you and the way that you've taken on these morning calls, and uh, it's really inspiring. I want to say congratulations again on your five-star qualification and you know, the opportunity that you have now to start getting $10,000 paydays, 10K paydays as we call them, that is, uh, that is inspiring and well-deserved. So, folks, I want, to, uh, I want to get into some things that is going to be a little bit of a recap if you were at Super Saturday, but I think it's worth listening to again. So, um, we're going we're gonna to talk about a couple of things, and I would love for some of you to just open up your mind to a concept. And I know that as soon as I start talking about it, as uh, soon as I start talking about it, some of you, your mind is going to shut down. It's going gonna, it's gonna to slow down. It's going to you know, disengage. And I would ask you in this moment, you know, at this time, just be aware of that. Pay attention and see if you can't look at it from a different perspective. See if you can't just, uh, you know, uh, take the opportunity to look at it differently than maybe you've looked at it before. And I know that many of us have been talking about it in uh, um, uh, different trainings and whatnot. And Michael Huggins did an amazing job on the Monday webinar uh, with the uh, Founders webinar, really, where he went into some of these concepts and he, he uh, took some of the you know, things that I taught, taught on Saturday and really put it into an amazing form with Vanessa Huggins turning that uh, PowerPoint into something powerful and engaging. And, um, and that leads me to what you guys probably know what I'm going to talk about. In the, and it is reaching out and talking to your warm market. Now, I know that, like I said, some of you already shut down. Some of you already said, oh, gosh, this again. I don't have a warm market, or my warm market isn't good enough, or nobody listens to me. And the reason that I want to talk to you about warm market again, right, and it may be in a different way than you thought of, is I was one of those people. I was one of those people that didn't think I had a warm market. I was one of those people that not, I knew that I had a warm market. Let me rephrase that. I didn't think I had a warm market that would listen to me. Many of you know my background and know that I didn't have much credibility in the world of, you know, finances or, or, uh, you know, business success or any of those things, um, from my past because, I was just a rough, rough dude, you know, getting kicked out of every school after grade school, you know, living for the weekend, uh, becoming a steel worker, uh, you know, getting in fist fights, you know, almost on a weekly basis. And uh, uh, I just wasn't the guy that most people would think, hey, I should talk to him about my future and success and real estate. And at the same time, even though I had that perception about myself, the truth is, because I didn't go to my warm market, I went to the cold market from the beginning, and I cut my teeth on really a lot of unqualified leads, a lot of looky-loos, a lot of you know people that were curious and not serious. And it took me 18 months get qualified. 
let me, let me say that again. It took me 18 months to get qualified. So do you want to get qualified in 18 months? Or do you want to do like Gerardo Lemus? Gerardo Lemus talked to 12 people. He, <laughs> he got qualified in one month because he simply went to his warm market, okay? He went and talked to the people that he knew, people that uh, trusted him, people that knew who he was, and it really came down to one thing. Gerardo, when he came down here, had something that benefited him immensely, which is belief. Belief. This is the difference between your success and not. It is your belief and your ability to convey that belief to others. See, many of you are saying, well, I'm not going to talk to people about this whole opportunity until I do a real estate deal. And then here's, I know what's going to happen. As soon as you do a real estate deal, you're going to say, well, I'm, I can't really talk to people about this uh, because I haven't shown that I can do it consistently. And then you're going to say, well, I've been able to flip properties consistently, but I'm not going to be able to talk to people about this until I've been able to, to buy rental properties and have passive income. And then you're going to say, well, I know that I've got a couple rental properties, but I'm not going to talk to anybody about this until I've been able to actually show that I can have enough passive income to quit my job. And then when you do that, you guys get the point. It's going to go on and on and on because if you're going to accept one excuse, any excuse is good enough. And I told the story on Super Saturday about Dave. And I'm using Dave's real name because I know he's not on this call. Um, and Dave is a guy who uh, worked with us way back in the day. And he's a great guy, great dude. I mean, a huge heart. And Dave came in and got involved in the business. And he had this belief that he couldn't really talk to anybody effectively until he did a real estate deal. Reluctantly though, Dave needed to make money. And so he started doing a few cold market strategies only because he couldn't talk to the people he knew because he hadn't done a real estate deal yet. And so he couldn't, he couldn't justify talking to people because he hadn't done a real estate deal, even though he was surrounded by people who were doing real estate deals, surrounded by people who had taken this uh, information and this system and become successful with it. And so he had this excuse, but he got just enough courage to place ads and start calling cold market leads. And through that process, guess what showed up? A real estate deal. <laughs> Interesting thing enough is, you know, many people come to me and they say, you know, I want to, I want to do more real estate. And I say, good, start marketing. Because guess what? As you are out there marketing for real estate investors, you're going to connect with people who have real estate, people who need to get out of real estate. And this is what happened with Dave. And so Dave, uh, he talked to this lady. He ended up partnering with uh, Brian Sump on this real estate deal. And he, he made more on that one deal than he had made the entire year previously. In other words, and I'm talking just his half, by the way. I'm talking about just his split. His split was more than he had made in the entire year before working his job. Now, the interesting thing about it, if you think about, you know, some of you, you've been in a job, you've made crap money, you've been unsatisfied, and you were willing to talk to people about that. And you were willing to, you know, uh, put in a good, good word for your friends so that they could get a job with you and they could live in the same misery. But for some reason, you're stuck. You've got some type of belief or lack of belief about this business. 
and talking to people about this opportunity. So I'd like to do a visualization exercise with you. Okay. This will be the same uh, exercise that, uh, that I did on Saturday, but don't tune it out. Don't, don't ignore it. Now, if you're in a spot to do so, I want you to close your eyes for this one. Just, just to give yourself the opportunity to, uh, you know, to really visualize this and really put yourself in this moment. And if you're driving, please don't close your eyes. Okay. But uh, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, take you through a, uh, an idea. I just, just play with me and, and visualize this. Imagine yourself in this moment, okay? So you're driving down the road, and as you're driving, there's a, a small rock slide that comes off the side of the mountain, and there's some rocks on the road, and boom, you pop your tire. In fact, you pop two tires. And you pull up and you pull off the side of the road and uh, you've got your flashers on and you find out, okay, I've got the stuff to, uh, you know, to change one tire and let me start with that. And let me see if there's a way that I could, you know, maybe patch the other tire. And uh, as you, as you start doing this, as you, as you start working away and looking at what you've got, you throw the wrench off the side of the road and you hear something, you hear a, a tink, Metal on metal. You think that's weird. So as you're continuing, you, uh, you go pick it up. And uh, hold tight with me, folks. Let me get somebody off of mute. Or on mute, I should say. All right. So you've pulled over to the side of the road. You're fixing your tire. You hear that metal, metal on metal clank with that wrench. And when you go back to grab the wrench, you notice something shiny over there on the side of the road and you kind of brush it off and you look and you're amazed because what you see is the words 24 karat gold and it's an actual gold bar and you pick it up and if you've ever held gold before I mean a gold bar is heavy right and as you pick that up you notice that underneath that, there's more. So you start brushing those ones off. And you, start, you start loading them up into your car. And uh, as you continue to load into your car, the more, that you, more of these gold bars that you brush off, the more that you uncover. And it just keeps going. I mean, you continue to load. You're getting exhausted at this point. In fact, when you look at your car, your suspension is completely compressed. You don't even know how much you can, more you can, you can fit in your car. But the more that you uncover, the further out you go, you pretty soon, you're, you've got you know, uh, two meters of, of uh, square space of gold bars that you have pulled out of the ground and loaded into your car, and you're at the point where you can't load anymore. What do you do in that moment? Do you say, oh, well, I got enough? Do you, um, do you call the police? Do you call a friend? Let's, let's pretend that you call a friend in this scenario. You call the person that you trust the most. This could be friend or family the person that you absolutely trust the most that you would want to share this with. And you call them. And let me ask you, what is your attitude like? When you call them up, do you say, hey, hey, uh, uh, I don't know if you're really interested right now or if you're too busy. Um, I just, I kind of found this, uh, this gold off the side of the road and, and uh, there's, there's a lot of it. I, I don't have the ability to, uh, to load anymore. So I'm just wondering if you're, if you're not too busy, if you might be willing to, you know, come out and help me load up, load up some more gold in your truck. Of course not. Right. What is your attitude going to be? It's going to be, dude, get down here. You're, I don't even have time to explain right now. I've got to call more people. 
I need you to meet me off the side of the road. Here's my location. Trust me on this. We're going to be rich. That's the type of conviction you would have, isn't it? And you wouldn't just call one person. You would keep calling. Because the more you dig up, the more you find. Think about that, Adam. Think about the excitement that you would use on the phone. And I want to ask you something. Is what we have here worth more than gold? Now, what I did to illustrate this point at Super Saturday is I just started pointing at people in the crowd. How much have you made on a real estate deal? How much have you made? How much have you made? What's your best deal? And we heard things like $38,000, $40,000, $78,000. You know, Riley is a guy that's really inspiring. He just did his first deal, deal and made over $70,000 on his first real estate deal. And he's got more deals. He's doing more deals. He used this. So is this opportunity, is this education worth more than that gold? I would have to say yes. Because the difference is that you can turn it into whatever amount of gold that you choose, whatever amount of money that you choose. So what would it take for you to have that same enthusiasm with talking to your warm market? This is my question for you. Because if you can imagine a couple of scenarios, if you don't decide to get that belief, I mean, imagine that uh, you're, you're going to Hawaii with us. In October, you're flying out to Hawaii because you've made so much money that it just doesn't make sense for you not to go to Hawaii when we have our regionals out there. And so you're so excited in October, snow is flying, right? Snow is flying and you're going and scraping off your car in shorts and a Hawaiian shirt. And your neighbor looks over, sees what you're doing. And he says, what in the world is going on with you? And you say, oh, yeah, uh, I'm only going to be cold for a minute. I mean, I'm clearing my car, and I'm heading to the airport, and I'm going to Hawaii. And uh, I, I, I'm just, I don't see any reason in getting bundled up because I'm, I'm heading off to the island. And your, your neighbor is looking at you. Now they're bundled up, and they're scraping their car, and they're miserable, and they're unhappy. And they're saying, how in the world are you going to Hawaii? You say, oh, well, I've, just, I've had this business that I've been running. I just did a real estate deal. And between the two of them, I've made over $50,000 in the last month and over $100,000 in the last quarter. And they, they, they look at you and they say, how long have you been doing this? You say, oh, I've been doing it for about a year and a half, almost two years. What do you think that that neighbor's going to think? They're going to look at you. They're going to, you're going to see their eyes squint a little bit. They're going to go inside. They're going to find the sharpest object they can find. They're going to come back out. Well, you guys can imagine what's going to happen after that, right? The fact that you didn't even tell them. I'll give you another scenario. Imagine you're at a family party and you're sitting at the back table and you've got the usual people around you because isn't that how it usually works at family parties? Like I'm talking, this is a big family party, right? A uh, wedding or something that's, uh, that, that all the extended family has come into town and everybody ends up sitting kind of with the same people they usually sit with. And as you're sitting at this back table with your closest family members, the people that, uh, that you connect with, you see drunk Aunt Linda. 
maybe she's not drunk. Maybe she's just crazy. Crazy Aunt Linda. All you know is that she's loud. And she is talking to everybody. And pretty soon, as she, you're just noticing, as she's getting, going table to table, you can hear her. She's in earshot, even though she's all the way across the room. And you hear her going in and talking to your cousins and saying, oh, my gosh, you guys, you have to come and uh, come to my cash recovery party next week. You see, I've connected with this community of real estate investors, and I just did my first real estate deal, and uh, they've paid me to help them expand their community of investors. I've doubled my income just in the last six months. You got to come see it. And they say, okay, Aunt Linda, we can do that. And you see her go over to your aunts and uncles at another table. And she says, oh my gosh, you wouldn't believe how much my life has changed. You guys know that I have what kind of spot what I was in, but I, I've doubled my income just in the last 60 days. And when I say double my income, I mean I've made more in the last 60 days than I made in the last two years. I'm having a party and I wanted to invite you over to it. I call it a cash recovery party and you're going to learn how you can save in taxes and how you can make money with real estate investing. Would you be interested in coming? And they say, yeah, I mean, of course, you're my sister. Of course we'll come. And you notice she's actually got a sheet with her. She's actually taking down these leads, these, these, these names and phone numbers, and she's actually collecting their information. And she goes table to table, and you listen to her, the same pitch over and over. Matt Linda, and all of a sudden she lands at your table and she says, you guys wouldn't believe how much my life has changed. I'm having a cash recovery party at my house next week. I wanted to invite you. This isn't your typical party. You guys are going to come over and I'm going to teach you how my life has changed with real estate investing and with this community of investors that I've connected with. I'm going to teach you how you can save in taxes and how you can actually pay off your mortgage in a third of the time. Would y'all be interested in coming? And the people next to you, I'm talking your brothers and your closest cousins and your, your mom, they all say, yeah, Aunt Linda, we'd be willing to come. And all of a sudden she looks over at you and what do you got to say? You got to say, oh, Linda, is this Renatus? And she says, yeah, you've heard of it. And you got to say, well, yeah, and Linda, I've been involved with Renatus for a couple of years now. I cleared six figures last year working with Renatus. And she looks at you and she says, you mean you know You've known me for all this time and you know the financial struggles I've dealt with over the years and you know that I've always wanted to be in real estate and you didn't tell me? Can you imagine that feeling? The embarrassment, first of all. Second of all, can you, can you realize now you just lost a whole room full of leads because they're all going to Aunt Linda's cash recovery party. Crazy Aunt Linda is going to make more money than you just simply because she opened her mouth. Folks, if you don't want to get stabbed by your neighbor or guilted by your, your aunt, just tell people about this. There's so many different ways. And I know I'm over time, but let me just give you the two that I shared with folks um, at Super Saturday. I gave them two ways that they can just send out texts right now. And it's, there's still time for each and every one of you. So let's go right here to Facebook. I'm going to show you how to find it. If you guys are in the Elevate SLC Facebook page, then you can 
um, find this. So here's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to elevate SLC. And what I'm going to do is I'm just actually going to search in this group. So where is that? Where is the search in the group at? Oh, right here. Search in the group. It's on the left-hand side. And we're going to, um, I'm going to look up permission because that's a keyword in both of them. All right, right here. Why don't you just come to these? And um, this is for this Saturday. You guys can send this out right now. So I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to comment. Look here. Or no, no, I'm going to say use this. Now it's at the top. If you go to the Elevate SLC group now, it's jumped up to the top. Now if it's not there, then just do the same thing I did. Just go search right here for the word permission. Okay? So here's another one. This one is building for next week, right? Next week we're going to be having the national conference. So I'm going to say use this. Now it's jumped up to the top. So go to the top. Go to S Elevate SLC, take these, and text them to each person in your phone. Just send your texts. Don't do a group text. People hate group texts. Don't get everybody into a group text. Instead, send it in, in an individual text to each of these people, all the people you care about, I just helped you not have to go through, you know, the bigger process of, you know, 200 names and narrowing it down to the top 25. Just send these texts to the people in your phone and then go through your Facebook and send them in private messages to the people in your Facebook. Start with the one for this weekend. Once this weekend is done, start with the one for next week and you can get people registered. I hope this was helpful, folks. I hope those of you who would normally shut down at the thought of warm market, maybe just opened up your mind a little bit. You don't need to convince anybody. Because the truth of the matter is, this is the best income opportunity on the planet. And everybody needs Renatus. So you might as well at least tell them. You're doing them a favor. And guess what? It's their loss if they say no. And the fact of the matter is, if they say yes, it's their game. You might make a little bit of commission, but they get to change their life. I appreciate you joining me, folks. Get out there and make it happen.